sitting here with Nelson Mbele. How, how are you feeling ahead of your fight? Mbele, right? Yes, sir, Mr. Yeah. Mbele. Mr. Mbele. Good to have you, Mr. Hayden. Thanks for coming out. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling pumped up for the second fight and feeling ready, focused. Yeah. Yeah, so let's go back to the first fight. Even before we get to this, because it's a nice opportunity you got going here, but the first fight you impressed with a second round knockout. Were you happy with your performance? I was very happy with my performance. We did very well. We were well prepared for the fight, well focused for the fight, and we got the result at the end of the day. So, yeah, like I said in the previous pe uh, interview, that if the knockout prevails itself, we go for it. But the aim was not to knock the guy out, but, you know, the opportunity was there to do so, so I went for it. And let's talk about, we spoke about what, what, what to expect in the fight, but uh, when, when you got to the change room, when you got to the environment, how did you feel uh, just before the fight? Were you nervous? To be quite honest with you, I was not nervous. I was actually too, too ready to be in the fight. You okay. know, all I wanted to see myself, I just wanted to see myself in the fight. And I was just ready for the day, you know, mentally. So I feel like that's what made me more confident in the fight because I prepared myself mentally and physically for that fight. So from the bubble, the weight was perfectly fine. Everything was perfectly fine. Everything was prepared 100%. So we were just ready on that day. And uh, middleweight division, obviously some people, you know, you'll start at a division, maybe you'll go up, maybe you'll go down. Are you happy in the middleweight division? Currently, yeah, I'm happy in the middleweight division. I won't say anything about the future as I don't know as of yet how things will go, but I'm quite happy in the middleweight division. All right, now let's move over to this fight. Obviously, you've been given an opportunity after impressing the first time. Obviously, it's always good to put in a good debut performance. This fight now, uh, how much do you know about your opponents? Uh, on this coming second fight, there's nothing much I know about him once again. But I know I'm fighting a guy by the name of Tando Mali. That's going to be my second fight and I don't know much about him. Mm. And I don't think he knows much about me too, but we'll see. I don't know if you picked it up, but on the YouTube comments, some guy said, Nelson, I'm proud of you. I had a fight with you in grade four. And uh, did you see that comment? Yes, I saw that comment. Yes, yeah. I once had a physical fight in, back in the days in primary school, but we, you know what, eventually with that person we were once brothers okay. afterwards. So, you know, after that we just started talking, talking, and he, he looks up to me big time. Yeah. Who, do you, who do you particularly like to impress? I mean, is it, is it all self-motivation for you? Are there other people that you did boxing for? It's mostly self-motivation because I feel it's something I was born with. You know, it's a talent, so I can say yes, it's self-motivation. And, and let's talk about uh, your preparation for this fight. Is, is it a better preparation than the first one? Or are we expecting an even better version of you this time around? The aim is to always impress and the aim is to always improve. So the preparations for this fight is, of course, going to be much better than the one before. And we always train hard for every, every fight. From amateurs, I've always trained hard for every fight. We always train the same way for every opponent. We never underestimate any opponent. So we put in the work and we train. So... I'm highly motivated and I'm ready for this fight. Now you're going to be part of a two-part tournament. I guess you're part of the, the first part of the tournament, which starts a little bit earlier in the day. It'll be probably the first time you fought that early as a professional. Well, obviously, it's the first time you fought that early as a professional. How do you feel about that? I'm very happy about that. You know, I'm okay with it. And I'd just like to thank Golden Clubs for that, Mr. Berman, for organizing two events on one day. You know, Mr. Berman did make a promise to South Africa that he will showcase young talent in his shows. And that's... The promise is, is, uh, is fulfilling on the 19th of June. So I'm very happy with that promise that he's made and is kept. And I'm guessing you, along with a whole bunch of other guys, uh, want to impress. Is it important for you to stand out? It's very important. You know, you have to make a name for yourself. So it's important for me to stand out, yes. Let's talk a little bit more about your trainer as well. He's obviously, you know, he's been around, but he's new to the Golden Gloves scene. He's new to, to the operations there. Um, how are you coming on with him? My trainer... Perfect. I'm very happy with him. I've been with him for five years and over now. So we have a good bond with him and he knows me in and out. He knows everything about my boxing style and my personal life. He knows a lot about me. So me and him have a good relationship. And in regards with your question, in terms of the preparation, we're always ready for anything. Always ready for anything. And I'm just happy that we've got the opportunity here. Does it make it difficult, though, when you have to not know who your opponent is? Like, let's just say you couldn't study him. Let's just say you're coming on a day where you, you and your coach could sit down and say, we want to do this today. No. 
what we always train about in the gym is we also train on how to be ready for anything if i'm making sense or should i put it this way we always train on how to adjust as a fighter you need to be always you need to be able to adjust to anything if a fighter in a in a boxing match changes his stance and he's now southpaw all of a sudden immediately in your mind you need to adjust if he changes to orthodox you need to adjust so that mentality is very important and crucial for a boxer to have you know you need to be able to adjust to anything that a fighter can give you and let's talk about your ability right yes do you think at this stage you have the ability to make all the adjustments necessary yes i do believe if i don't believe then i'm doubting myself but i don't doubt myself i do believe that i have all the necessary skills and mindset most importantly to adjust to whatever situation i'll find myself in in the ring all right and uh, for your fans out there what sort of a performance are you uh, are you promising them they must tune in and watch on the 19th of june i don't want to say much i'm not much of a talker i believe in showing you what i can do and what i can display so on the 19th of june they must just be ready there will be fireworks and i'll just do what i have to do and get that w again and uh, to your opponents if he manages to catch this interview do you have a message for him let's make the fans proud my brother let's make the fans proud i'm not a trash talker i'm not gonna say anything or anything against you i don't know you you don't know me but let's just give the fans what they want to see and let's make this a tremendous fight and then uh, nelson lastly from you do you have anyone you want to thank or a shout out for anybody yes of course i'd like to thank firstly i'd like to thank um sa boxing talk you hayden we really appreciate the work that you do for boxing and having these interviews with you is really a good thing for us as boxers to get our name out there and i'd like to thank my family and friends for all the support that they've given me i'd like to thank the sponsors mandy and leon from forklift handling gary from bulldog abrasives and jack from um, next generation coatings i'd like to thank my trainer slash manager mimos berito as well as marco luis for helping me get this opportunity to fight at golden gloves and i'd also like to thank lastly golden gloves for the opportunity mr berman uncle jeffrey i'm truly grateful for the opportunity yeah.